Hi there, I'm Liz from the WQED education team, and I'm here today with some of the members of Sparks Crew from Hero Elementary. Hero Elementary is a brand new show on PBS Kids that talks about kids who have some superpowers and they're going to Hero Elementary to learn how to use those superpowers. And they use those powers to help solve problems. But sometimes, because they're just learning, they aren't able to use their superpowers to help. So they have to work together using another kind of superpower, the superpowers of science, to help other people and solve the problem of the day. So today, we are gonna use our superpowers of science to make bubbles, which is Benny Bubbles' superpower, and a gadget to blow our bubbles with, which is AJ Gadget's superpower, using things you can find just around your house. First, let's make our bubbles. All you need to make your bubble solution is a mixing bowl, something to mix it with, a quarter cup of corn syrup, a half a cup of dishwashing detergent, and two cups of water. Once you have all of your ingredients measured out, you just pour them into your bowl. I'm gonna put my water in first. Put that in. And then I'm gonna add the dish soap. Make sure we get all of it in. And then last, I'm going to add the corn syrup. Now, corn syrup is a little bit sticky, so if you do get it on your fingers, they'll be a little bit sticky, but that's okay. All right, once everything is in your bowl, then you mix. Make sure you mix your bubble solution slowly, though. You don't want to stir too quickly because then you'll start to form the bubbles, and we aren't quite ready to blow bubbles just yet. So we're going to mix it up. Mine happens to be blue because the dish detergent I used was blue. But if you use a different color, that's okay too. It actually would be kind of cool to see if your bubbles are different colors when you blow them. All right, I think we are pretty well mixed. All right, now that we have our bubble solution mixed, I'm gonna put that to the side, and now we're gonna make our bubble wand. You can use anything that you have laying around the house to make your bubble wand because it's kind of neat to see what kind of bubbles different objects will make. I have some cookie cutters here, and I'm gonna use some pipe cleaners to be the wand, or to hold on to my cookie cutter here so I don't have to hold on to it with my hands. Just wrap that around. You could probably even use the pipe cleaner itself to be your bubble wand. But now, I don't know if you noticed, the cookie cutters I have, one is a dog bone, one is a star, and the other one is a butterfly. What shape bubbles do you think they will blow? Do you think the star one will make star-shaped bubbles? What about the butterfly? Do you think it'll be butterfly-shaped bubbles? Or are all bubbles, no matter what shape the wand is, always the same shape? There's one way to find out. Let's try it. All right, we have our wands. Move our bubbles back over. One more stir. Now let's blow some bubbles. Did you see what shape it was? It wasn't a star at all. All bubbles are round. No matter what shape bubble wand you're using, they're always going to be round bubbles. Have fun blowing your bubbles and we'll see you next time.